Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Hamish and I'm a professional SEO and I wanted to make an updated video on this insane keyword method for Redbubble. This keyword method uses the following logic. If I type in Redbubble funny sticker, okay, on Google, and then I open a, uh, a thing, you can see here it says shop and it says here how many results there are. So on Google, there are, there are, this is called a search engine result page. This is a Google search engine result page, but this is a Redbubble search result page. So Google ranks Redbubble search pages, okay? And in my opinion, this is one of the ways that many, many people find something to buy. So uh, let me just think of an example. Coffee sticker red. Let's just say you're looking for a coffee sticker, okay? Just an example, whatever. Redbubble is going to be one of the first ones. There it is. I don't know what what are these numbers. Oh, it's added the numbers. That's interesting. That's really interesting. That's a new thing. So yeah, as you can see, let's say you just wanted to buy a coffee sticker like this for your fridge or whatever, okay? And you went on Google, you typed in coffee sticker, and then you can see how many results there are now in the URL. But yeah, this, this is just an example, but we can refine this by using something called search operators. So a search operator is basically an advanced Google search straight into Google. So I'm putting site redbubble.com, so I'm telling Google I only want to see results from Redbubble. I only want to see results that have uh, in their URL shop, and I don't want people in the URL. And this means all of these will be... Um, yeah, results, basically. Redbubble result pages. Uh, the, this is not what we want, so I've done this wrong. Um, we want we don't want the word buy. Let's get rid of buy. Okay, but there's another step another step to this, which is we go on tools and we put ranking in the past week. Let's just get rid of this, because that's annoying me. Okay, minus people. Okay, so for example, uh, yeah, there you go, there's one in URL. I don't understand what is going on here. In URL shop. Let's change that to that. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So the good thing about this is this is things that have just started ranking in the last seven days on Google. So Candyman, a film that just came out, for example, has only just started ranking. And the really, really nice thing about this is, first of all, we can just see the results here, which is really nice. And also, we can find things, we can find trends as they emerge. So an example of that would be what I just saw, uh, Beluga Clothing. If you don't know, Beluga is a YouTuber who is absolutely exploding right now. And as you can see, this is a trend that has actually already emerged, but we could have got on it before it had emerged. That is why I really, really like this kind of method. And also another really nice thing is that you just find random, like really nice keywords. So let's uh, very quickly just, let me show you how to check like if it's worth making a design or not. So let's go with this keyword here. It only has six results, which is really, really nice. And let me show you how to check the results. Okay, so what I want you to do is go on an incognito uh, tab and just type in ahrefs, oops, ahrefs keyword generator. Uh, this is the one we want. And then what was the keyword? I've completely forgotten. The square art. Okay, so this will actually tell us if it's worth making the design or not. Okay, so it has no results. That doesn't mean it's necessarily not a good one but I mean I probably wouldn't make this design because it doesn't seem to be anything on uh, Google oh it's a it's a film or something I don't really know but yeah as you can see red bubbles here only six results so yeah, yeah I don't know I don't know maybe this is something that will become a trend in the future we have no idea I guess if you really wanted to, you could go on uh, their Twitter and see if any tweets have been exploding or if their Instagram is popular. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Oh, okay. So this is actually someone who's already making art. So, yeah. 
we wouldn't go for this because it, it's not you don't want to just steal art or steal someone's name or whatever it might be but yeah that's how i love finding redbubble keywords and i hope this helps some people out i know i've made a lot of videos on this but i thought i'd make a very quick updated one because i think that it's one of the best methods and not enough people know about it peace out